وذكر فإن الذكرى تنفع المؤمنين الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد The issue of prayer is a simple one the Messenger alayhi salatu wasalam said Ju'ilat li al-ardu masjidan wa tahura Allah made this whole world, this whole globe A place of worship, a place of prostration uh, And even though the masajid uh, Very sadly are closed We can still pray in our homes In fact, the Messenger alayhi salatu wasalam said فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ جَاعِلٌ فِي بَيْتِهِ مِنْ صَلَاتِهِ خَيْرًا Allah brings a lot of goodness, a lot of barakah uh, Through praying in your home So, this is the most perfect and ideal opportunity that we can designate an area in our house to pray in. Perhaps you want to set up some prayer mats. Uh, you know, you can get these apps where the adhan goes off every time it's time to pray. Your family members, your children. When's the last time a little girl prayed with her father or with her mother? This is the best opportunity to educate your kids, to bring about that Islamic, you know, environment in your household. It creates love, as Allah says, it brings about barakah and also a great sense of unity. Also, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Hafidhu ala salawati wa salatil wusta. Protect and preserve your prayers, which means pray on time, pray properly, pray in congregation if you can. And also, the Messenger alayhi salatu was was asked, What's the best of deeds? He said, praying on time. So this is the best, most perfect opportunity where you can bring about this sort of, this sort of atmosphere in your house, uh, praying on time, praying together, educating your children, and so on and so forth. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, accept it from us. Also, my dear brothers and my sisters in Islam, in this time of difficulty, in this time of calamity, in this time of distress, I invite every single one of you to look back at the life of our messenger, what he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he used to do in the time of difficulty, in the time of distress. It is narrated, either hazabahu amrun salla, whenever the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would become distressed, he would pray, he would increase in prayer. So we need to increase our prayer, our nawafil. Also Allah says in the Quran, That indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He removes fahsha, your sins and your evil deeds through the salah. And in terms of the reward, the reward of praying the salah at home, what is the reward? We look at the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where he said that whenever the worshipper, the slave of Allah, he becomes sick or he is traveling. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he writes for him the same reward as if he was healthy or as if he was a muqeem, a resident in his city. Barakallahu feekum.